Hey everyone, it's Zadira and Steffi. Hi guys! We are in a new game called Small Small Lands and Survive the Wilds and we are so excited. Oh my gosh, look at that yes. big tree and oh. the butterflies. Oh, it's so beautiful. It is so pretty. So this game pretty. is so gorgeous. Okay, so when you first get into Small Land, what we didn't want to spoil things for you and plus it takes a really long time to do this. What you'll do is you will actually spawn in in the burrows, and that's where we've lived all these many, many years. Giants have lived up here on top of the surface. So now as vanguards, we are going out to try to help the queen. Our poor queen is sick, and we need to try to help figure out about helping her. Yes. So as you go through the burrows, you'll make your way out into the overland. And so we didn't want to take the time to do that. So you guys take your time. Make sure you read all of the owl effigies. These things, right? These guys right here. Their eyes will glow green if you have not read them. Mm -hmm. That is a one. It's one of the most fun tutorials I think I've ever gone through. Yes. So informative. If you read every one of those things, talk to every single person carefully. As you'll, you go through the burrows, yeah, you'll be set. You'll be set. You'll be. You'll know how to play the game. It's not difficult at all. So, you just need to read carefully and take your time. But the one problem is, make sure when you come out, there's a lot of the tall white mushrooms as you come out of the burrows, and be sure and chop those down with yeah. your wood hatchet craft, because you're going to need food right away. Yep, yeah, craft your wood hatchet, put your mushroom pieces in your toolbar mm -hmm. and be eating those as you go. Yeah, and because and, you will get hungry because it takes so long to get through all the tutorial part. Yeah. So we got out of the, the burrows and we're here, right here, right there's a ginormous owl up here in the top of this tree, the trunk of this tree. So cool. And so we're going to go up there and explore that real quickly. Yeah. So there's... this is where we're starting off with our series. Um, Steffi's with me. We are in a, so you can get these resources. You'll, you'll see those as you go through the burrows. Yeah. Grab everything you can see. Yeah. Uh, and everything you can find because you will use it. And FYI, make sure and let Hearn uh, craft your armor for you because it's oh. going to get super cold. Yes. And you need that armor right away. The and armor is called padded armor. Mm -hmm. And all you need to do is collect a lot of, of uh, fiber and you'll be able to let Hearn make all three pieces. You get the gloves and the pants and the shirt. And then you'll be set for getting too cold. You don't want to get too cold. And look, Steffi, the owl has us some presents. Ooh. It's like a charcuterie board. Is that how you say it? Yeah, charcuterie. Charcuterie board. Yeah. I'll let you go and grab those. I have been in a little while, so I have to really have some mushroom Ooh, steaks. Thank you. And I'm going to talk you. to this owl. Small folk believe owls possess magical powers and worship them as some kind of divinity. Idols, statues, and decorations are crafted in their honor. Oh, that's so fun. Nice. So you read each owl effigy, and they will tell you really good information. Let's take a minute to, to really look out here. So these big trees, thats we're going to actually try that for our project today, is make our main home in one of these big trees. So... You can see them. There's one way over there. There's one. So you can see them. They're all over the world. And once you have a home in one of those trees, that's where you can go to different servers. So let's talk about multiplayer for just a second, Stevie. Because yes. multiplayer is very different than single player. If you're single player, you can hop in your game anytime you want. You can make new characters. You can make as many new worlds as you want. But the, if you have one main character, now that I've made this world for me, if I'm if I'm on the world, Steffi can join me if I make it online. Yeah. So if Steffi makes a world, so here we we got come in here and we make this beautiful mansion up in the tree. I can go to Steffi's world. I can go up a tree and I can bring my mansion and all of my things with me because everything inside my home will come with me also. Is that not the coolest it's thing ever? so cool. 
So be sure and check that out. Uh, you can join other people's if they don't have them password protected. If they're just open, you can go in different worlds and join and, and uh, play in other people's worlds. Yeah, something that was a little bit confusing to me at the beginning is I was, when we first got in, uh, there's two tabs at the top when you join a world, and one says create your own world, and one says join. Mm -hmm. And it's at the very top of your yeah. screen. So make sure and click on yeah. join. Join means you can join other servers. Yes. Create if, means you make your own world. Yes. If you do not see your friend's server, click the refresh button, and you may see it come mm -hmm. up. Because you may be too quick. Yes. So, but the And also, the friend has to be online. That's yeah. Another really cool them. thing about um, multiplayer is if you are in, um, if you want to live together um, and you're you're with each other, you can see each other from a far distance because you have this little cool light. Um, yeah, see that your see character if I can see has. Uh, yep, there it is. See that little purple light to the left of the torch? There it goes. I see her. Yep, I'm moving. lavender, purplish, pink light. I love that. And on the map, you can see Steffi. Now, She's a blue arrow where I'm a green arrow. Another really, really important thing um, as a player, if you're playing with other people, um, if you're, you have one person that is building and creating and crafting things, you will not learn the recipes. Mm -hmm. That's so right. So make sure if you're playing with multiple people, um, if you have tribe members that everybody's cre crafting, you don't have to keep them. You can destroy the extras. Mm -hmm. um, but make sure that you're crafting and learning all the different recipes. Like I just built, say I came in early while Steffi was going through the tutorial. I came in and I made us a little outpost. Oh, one thing too, when you're harvesting, you'll see F, gather, hold your F down. Like oh, that. yeah, that Don't is so click cool. click it. Let's see if I can find something else to click on. So, in other games that I've played, when you have, you have a little pin circle in the center of your screen. I'm not sure you can see it on uh -huh. your screen. It's a little dot, white and dot. And if you place the dot on the item, then you pick it up with mm -hmm. you, when you press whatever the pickup button is. In this case, it's F. Um, but in other games that I've played, you've had to actually put that dot on each individual thing. They have made it so cool yeah. where if you hold down your F key, it takes all. Okay, so if I press my F key once, look at that, see? They fall to the ground, and then you have to pick up. But if you hold your F key even then, it will pick up all. Isn't that awesome? I... That's one of the coolest things. But it, you can't just hold F and it won't even fall to the ground. It'll just be swooped up into your inventory. Let's see if we can find something. This is a little bridge I made. Uh, you can go through most water if it's really, really, really shallow. But if it gets any deep at all, like if I jumped right in the, like over here maybe in the middle right there, I drowned. But it, if you can jump out fast enough, you can, you can get in the water. So when we first started testing, we couldn't even touch the water. <laughs> it's like, we, oh my gosh, there's so many things. Okay, so anyway, I made this little bridge just so we could jump across this water if you're careful. But it's very stressful. So yeah. I used some of our things. And as long as you have a covering over your building, it won't deteriorate. So like these torches, that's I put a cover over our bridge so that the floors, the, the foundations won't deteriorate and the the torches won't deteriorate. So that way, they, it'll pretty much stay in the world forever. But our house is over here, Steffi, and I Ooh. built a really small house, and I put in a workshop, and okay, now these, you have to have a crude hatchet, and that gives you a lot of wood. Ooh, there's some of those ants. We might can make some nice ske skewered ant heads. Let's try to see if we can't oh, kill these Oh, hang guys. on one second. Um, I don't think I crafted a club. Oh, no, I did. Okay, let me put it in my toolbar. Okay, yeah, get your inventory. See, like if I hold down F, you just click F and hold down, and it just goes right, swoops right into your inventory. So we need, these ants are fairly easy to kill, especially when you have a friend to help with your wood club um, 
but not there's not many more animals that you can do this. You need better tools for most other animals. We Ready? should we should also um, tell people we are in peaceful mode. Yes, we are in peaceful mode is why they're not even attacking us in the first place. And yes. we do not have friendly fire on. So if you we can are, hit each other and it won't hurt. Yeah, if you are not in peaceful mode, everything will attack you. Yeah, everything just keeps attacking. And I'm not sure, but I think they even attack your house. I think they will. Ooh, we need to tame some ladybugs. Okay, so here's our little home away from home. Oh, this is awesome. And, oh my um, gosh, I used look one of at the that chimney. bottle. I want to use one of the chimney roofs because I didn't want my campfire to deteriorate. I so love that's it. a cute little idea. I love the glass bottle for the chimney. Yeah, How that cool. Fun? I love that. So right now we don't have the pillars and we don't have railings. We have to open those as we learn new things. So it looks, I don't like the way it looks. In fact, you know what I think I'll do? In fact, that's what I was going to do. All right, let me get my, you have to get your building hammer out. And it, you have these tabs. Interactive tab is where you have things that you interact with. Very simple. I've already placed the workbench. And because I've placed the workbench, and see, this is why I probably need to, or Steffi, go ahead and do it if you want to, eliminate the, uh, destroy the workbench so you can place it. Okay. And that way it will open the stone cutter bench. So next thing that we have to do is go get the, the requirements we need for the stone cutter bench. And there's the bed, and there's the chest. It's the only things we have so far. This is going to almost fill up, guys. I'm not kidding you. So now we have only one foundation. We're going to end up with wood and stone. I don't know if anything else. But that's as far as I've gotten in the game. And then over here you have building. And this, again, is going to completely fill up. Oh, my gosh. We're going to have so many building pieces. And here's our decorations. Oh, that ladybug's up on the porch. So we have a cabinet. We have a prep table. We have a regular table. A little wooden chair and a table that's made out of um, bottle caps. And that's the cutest little table. Okay, so anyway, what I thought I'd do is I'll get this uh, twigs and leaves door frame. And that'll give that some kind of a little bit of support. Don't you think that's better? It just looks like it's hanging up in the sky. Now, right now, the building is a little glitchy. It's, it's kind of difficult to make sure you have it right. But it will pop into place, so... Let's place that down. But you have to have... Did I do two? I heard it hit twice. Or did you put down... Oh! oh this is I put down crooked. a bed. Oh, okay. I put down my bed. I heard a clunk, just as I did a clunk. Okay, no, that's good. All right, so that gives a little bit more support. I guess we could put it... Let's put another one over on the other side. So, man. That looks so nice! Yeah, it doesn't look like it's hanging off the edge of the world. There. And we could still... It's like a little porch. Oh, I love it. So when we get our railings, that it, that helps too. So now we have a nice little porch we can get on. Okay, if I click my builder's hammer, all of that stuff goes away. But you always have to have your builder's hammer in your hand to build. And then you can have the campfire. And that, if you kill some grasshoppers, um, hmm, I don't have, I must not have gotten any heads off those ants. If you kill grasshoppers, you can... Uh, cook grasshopper legs and yes. here's the mushroom steaks. Um, There's some grasshoppers that give you that'll make roast. Yeah, those they're higher level. Yeah. Okay, so we have our beds, and this is our. You made your spawn point here. I made oh, my spawn. We can sleep. Let's go ahead. Let's okay. go ahead and sleep through the night while it's night. Nice. So if you want to see if it's night, the only way right now must have been just getting night. Oh wow, I'm hungry. That really oh, made me, me too. Okay, so the only way you know right now that it, what time it is is you look at this little compass thing here, and it will show you. Up, oh, I hear a storm. Ooh. It's almost like the devs made it so that when you wake up in the morning, it storms. It, that's true. It Every seems like that. Every morning, it just drives me crazy. Okay, so now when you went as you go through the tutorial, the uh, people that you talk to. Hearn and the Elder, they opened up, or I guess the Elder did, opened up this map to these other people. And so, Caleb is here. That'll probably be our first one we visit. Then I want to visit Skady. As a tester, I kind of know where things are, and I know that there's Flint down here, and I know 
that we're going to need a lot of flint to make better weapons. So we'll go visit Caleb first because he shows us about the stone armor. Mm -hmm. Then we'll go see Skatey and then we will go visit Dristana. She's the bee lady. But gosh, we got a lot to do before we do any of that. We do. So when you go on the map, there's different things you can do. It's really amazing. So you can actually click on, like, it, we if we want to go visit Caleb, which I guess we should go ahead and do that um, first. So we can yeah. talk to him, and he we, can show us his armor. Yes. Oh, yeah. yeah. And so you click on that, and then when you close your map, when you swirl your compass at the top of the screen, but I, they really need to brighten it. Because I can't see it. Um, it should show if i'm looking at the top of the screen and i can't see it it should show a little face mm. no i don't see it i think it, there there it is it's really difficult to see and see it's, that means i go follow that forward there and that, that's where caleb is up there okay so also then when you get lost <laughs> in the world i can click on my home sweet home and it will show that on the compass. So I've, I've, oh, and I guess let me show you uh, if you want to put a marker down like I did for Home Sweet Home. Let's go ahead and make a fake one over here. So you right click your mouse, it brings up the exclamation point, and you just start typing. So let's say fake place for this right now. And then you, if you close your map, that will stay up there. And then if you want to go to your fake place, you just go. Yeah. And if you wanna if you wanna highlight it, it will show on your compass. But otherwise you can look at your map and see which direction. And but then also you, you can sorry. No. I was just gonna say if you wanna remove it, you just that, right that click was, on it. That was what I was oh. gonna do. Yeah. Great so, minds think alike. <laughs> yeah. So you can track things like we, if we wanna track, or you can untrack them just by right left clicking. So, our next thing is to go talk to Caleb. Well, no, I think, Steffi, we talked about we wanted in this video to go and make our home sweet home. Our, 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 yes. Yeah. So, let's do that before we talk to Caleb because we don't really need to talk to Caleb. The only thing to talk to Caleb for is to, if you want him to make you your armor. Yeah. So, the what we need really badly is we need mandibles so we can make the mandible um, pickaxe. We need a pickaxe so we can start harvesting stone because we need stone, I believe. Did you get the stone cutter, stutter, stone <laughs> cutter bench now? Can you make it? You should have been able to get it. Yes. Yeah, so I think, what does it show? We need stone, We need correct? 10 stone, yeah. one bottle cap, one screw. Yeah. And, and so we don't have any way of getting wood. the stone until we have the mandible uh, pickaxe. Yes. The so. good news is, on my way to find you, I picked up two screws and a bottle cap. Awesome. Okay. So we're halfway Perfect. there. Well, look at that. We can make that then as soon as we get enough stone. We need 10 stone. So we need man mandibles from the bull ants to, make the, get, to get the stone. Okay. So we're sad except for that. So let's go ahead though. Let's don't talk, think about that for now. Let's go ahead and work on our house. Okay. So when you, what I think is really smart is to try to find a house, one of the big trees. I almost wonder, I'm not sure about that though, so I shouldn't say, but I almost wonder if these are the big trees, but I don't think, maybe they might be. Uh, maybe the trunks, showing the trunks. Maybe. But I don't think so, because look how big that is. But anyway, I know that there's a big tree right here by Caleb. Oh, no, oh, now there we have we a go. storm. Now for sure there's a storm. So let's talk about the storms a little bit, because the, I, I wouldn't have known this um, if it hadn't been for Zadira. So as soon as you see um, where it says Seek Shelter, you're going to want to build you a little place to stay safe because mm -hmm. you will die quickly yeah. yeah um so you need to have at least you were telling me you need to have at least one foundation 
and three walls and a ceiling at least mm -hmm. to protect you from the storm. Yeah. Now, That's you, all it takes. You don't need any more than that. Yeah. And you and, can even leave one wall open. You don't even need a door frame. Yes. And just stand in there until the storm ends. And it will, it'll say on your screen, it comes across, it says the clouds have dispersed. Yeah, you'll um, see in just a minute. Yeah. It'll show. But also, but, but just to let you know. you cannot be out in the storm at all or you'll die. Yeah, you will die so fast. Um, which shocked me because, um, you know, in other games we play in storms and we just keep going. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> but in this game you can't. If yeah. your, your character's too tiny, it'll, it'll kill it immediately. But just to let you know, also, if you have tames, they'll be outside and it won't hurt them. Yeah. That's so. yeah. That's something we were worried about, but it didn't hurt our tank. We had a little ladybug, and it didn't hurt our ladybug, and she went through lots of different storms. Yeah, when we were testing. So that's one thing we need to do too, Steffi, is tame us a ladybug. Oh, yeah, okay, here we we'll go. definitely do that in another episode. So stay tuned, keep yeah. watching because we do. So um, they give you plenty. Now, when we were testing. We didn't have near that much time to build a shelter, so now it's not near as scary as it was. You have plenty of time to yeah. put down a foundation and three walls and a roof. You have plenty of time. Yeah. In fact, I like to keep at least one stack of wood, one mm -hmm. stack of um, fiber, fiber, and one stack of the um, resin. Resin. Thank yeah. you. And with those uh, three items, you can you can be fine through any storm. Yep. So, now, uh, winter is different. When it gets really, really, really cold, uh, there are times you're going to need better armor even. But I think, Steffi, my, I'll just talk about it one time, I think, and not talk about it again. My biggest complaint with this game is too much rain, too many storms, too much darkness. Because, like, we had that storm right when we woke up. Yeah. And now we have this storm, and see, we're almost at midday, and we've had to stay in uh, because of the darkness. We can't see because you fall off of things. Uh-oh, did I miss the announcement? I think I did. Yeah. Yeah. They had an announcement of cross, and it said you're safe. So that that is my biggest complaint. I'm going to try really hard not to complain anymore. I, uh, while we're <laughs> on the subject, I just want to say, I want to put my two cents in, and I just want to say... Mine is the darkness. Yeah, well, because that's what I feel I'm like, saying. Yeah, with I, the different storms, there's so much rain and so many storms that there's way too much darkness to be able to play the game and have fun. Yeah, it's too frustrating. So I'm really hoping that changes. But right now, it's it's really frustrating. Okay, Steffi, I was gonna tell you also if you wanted to build another chest, I totally forgot. But uh, how are you doing on food? You got plenty of food? I've got two mushroom steaks. Okay, I've only got one. So I'm thinking we should... Let me show you. Let's go do this real quick before we head out to the tree. Because we have to have food. Because once we, once we start climbing that tree, it's going to take a while to get up. And we don't want it. Now see? Here's another storm again. And it got super dark. And it got super, super dark. dark. Like I, mean, I can barely too see... Much. Yeah. Okay, so... <clears throat> we do have torches in the game, I will say, but they don't Just disperse don't much light. Yeah. So what? where we are located on the map, there's our home. Right here, I can't see it very good, but right here there's a log that goes across this little river. It's a river to us. It's probably just a stream to the giants that used to live here. But you can go over here and get up on this log. Let's see. Where's the best place? Somewhere there's a good place to get up. Let's see here. Looks like they changed this just a little bit. I don't remember. Huh. Maybe it's around here. I had an easy way to get up. Yeah. It's right here maybe. See, it's so dark I can't see. So. Alright. Up here. And then go up here. And we should be able to. Be careful. And you can knock each other off of things. So, okay, so now let's chop down all these mushrooms, Steffi. And if you hold your F, some people were complaining on the forums that their mushrooms were falling down. But if you hold F, are getting, they were saying they were getting stuck. I see that one I didn't, oh yeah, I did pick it up. Let's just 
just down in the so let's get as many and hold down F and that way they won't fall down off of the logger get stuck in there yeah and then we can go home and fry them up mm -mm, yummy then we can go build our tree house but yeah again it's like it hasn't stopped storming now since we woke up this morning <laughs> So I think it's okay that we fuss about that a little bit. Yeah. If we don't fuss, they'll never change it, right? That's so true. Yeah. But that is my, that is definitely, there is so much positive and so much good. I don't want to have that overshadow and cause people to not play the game because I'm surely they'll it fix is, it. It is such a fun game. And there's frustrations in every game. Oh, yeah. But, Especially, you know. Especially since it's early access and. Don't. Don't stop playing because um, of that. Because yeah. it's an it's an amazing fun game. Yeah, definitely. Okay, let's see here. There's so much good. Now, somehow um, nicely, I jumped up on. There's nice. so many games that I when I get to the point of needing to hop on something or jump up on something or do a jumping puzzle, it's almost impossible. But they have fixed it so nicely in this game. Our movement, I love the movement. Yes, they nailed it on the movement. Yeah. It's so good. Yeah. So see how you can get, you can have food for the rest of your life almost. Also. <laughs> the fact that the, if you grill them, it helps with your hunger so much. You can yes. eat them raw. Now see that you one can. Fall. Yeah, you can eat them raw, but if you make the mushroom steaks on the campfire, it gives you so much more points towards your food. So this is a big tip right here that I kind of figured out on my own. Oh, my hatchet's damaged, so just keep harvesting till you don't have a hatchet anymore and then go cook. Go through. So all you do is see it, if this shows green right here. That means you can cook those. This one's red. And just click on it, and it cooks the mushroom steaks. Okay. Yeah, and then right. I like to go, I like to hit tab to break, go in my inventory, and I put my um, mushroom steaks in my number eight key, and that way whenever I'm hungry, I can just hit my number eight key yep. and eat. That's the way I do it, too. And then you can also, in fact, I'm going to go do that real quick before we take off. In the workbench, uh, let me show you that. In the workbench, there's air, lots of new things you can build. And simple bandages is one and most important thing. You only need some fiber. So always have, I would say, 10 at least. Yeah, I have 10 in my, all the time. Um, mm -hmm. And I keep them in my number six slot. And that way I can, they heal really good. Yeah. So the net, the, what we were talking about a while ago is the crude hatchet. We need to make that. But it needs... Yeah. We, oh, cotton, it wasn't mandibles. Oh, no, oh. we were talking about the mandible pickaxe. But we yes. also need the crude hatchet, so we yeah. need cotton. So um, we'll use the next video to b battle some animals and get some more resources. Yeah, and show you guys so, how to get some of the yeah, resources. Here's the mandibular pickaxe. See, we need one bull ant mandible. It's so funny because when we were testing, we saw lots of bull ants, but I hadn't seen we one did. yet. <laughs> While you're in that screen, go ahead and show them how to repair. Yes, when you go into the workbench, you can repair all of your tools up here. This is so great. Oh my gosh, I, I love this. Me too. So it only shows that I have two things that need repaired. And this one doesn't even take any resource cost because it's so not hardly damaged at all. But go ahead and click on it and it will repair it. This shows that there is some cost. You can see over there, fiber and wood. So let's go ahead and repair that. And it, everything then is repaired. It will bring it up here if it needs to be repaired. And your like your clothes, be sure and uh, check. Come in into the workbench every time you come back in your house after being out and repair everything. And it will repair your clothes and your tools and everything. Your yeah, and if you don't have the ingredients you need to repair, it'll show in red. Right. It, it won't repair it if you don't have the ingredients, but yeah. it will show you what you need. All right, Stephanie. Uh, let's look at the, see, it's almost nighttime, so I vote, let's go over, um, uh, find our tree, and we'll put a little outpost down below the tree. Oh, good idea. And we want to, I, I think a really smart thing when you're doing your tree is to find a mid, kind of midpoint. 
in the map because you're closer to everything. Yeah. So we know Skatey is down here, and we know Dristana is up here, and I'm sure this will probably get filled up with people, but those are really far, so I'm thinking... Like, right here in the middle of the map would be good. So, either north of Caleb or west of Caleb. I think that's a really smart idea. So, uh, we could actually, since we have a little bit of time, we could go ahead and go and visit Caleb and get that done. Um, I think we should go by... Go oh, do the tree? Do the tree first. Okay, let's do, because we need to build a little... Because it's getting close tonight. We need to build a little outpost uh, before it gets too dark, so then we couldn't see. And I think part of the problem of not being able to see so much is because we're under these big tree canopies. So it makes lots of shade. And I think that's part of it. There, now see, there's where Ooh. we're going to get some chitin. Yeah. But we're not going to do the that. Red we're beetle. not going to get um, Distract. distracted. <laughs> oh, there's, Plus, a, there's a bull ant, too. We okay. need to get, we really do need to get our, uh, some better, uh, Weapons. Weapons. Okay, so we have to find the good way up to the tree. And first, you have to find a good way up to the tree platform. So what you want to do is look for some lower level mushrooms. Now look, there's the platform. I can see it from my testing. I know that that's the lower platform. So okay. we want to find an easy way to get to that platform. So maybe go around this way. Okay, here's rye. That will give you seeds and a lot of fiber. And you can chop those down with your regular stone hatchet. But right now, we don't want to get uh, distracted. There's another beetle, and there's more mushrooms. Ooh, that's good to know. Yeah. Okay, this is looking better. This is looking more, uh, I think, possibly, when I could get up here. But you do, you have to find some lower mushrooms. There, I see some lower mushrooms there. You think this might be it? Oh, maybe. Start, Let's try you start jumping up on the mushrooms and make your way up to the platform. And one thing, too, you might... So there's the... Oh, yeah, this will work. Nice. Oh, this is awesome. Look. And it won't be too difficult to get up to the platform because every time you get through with your mission, you're going to have to make your way up to the platform to get to the balloon that takes you up to your house. So the whole purpose is, you may not know, up at the very, 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 very top of the tree is where you build your home. And so in order to claim, well, we'll do that here in just a minute. We'll, we'll talk to this person and he'll show us instead of me telling you. So, so you have to just start making your way up. If you can't find a way up this way, you look over here. And then, whoop, whoop, whoop. And they've got it fixed so good. I'm terrible at jumping puzzles. Oh my gosh. I'm like the worst jumping puzzle person. But they have fixed this so great. I do get nervous. I do get nervous. But yeah. I'm able to do it. So cool. Yeah. Oh, I love it. This is so much fun. Now, we didn't pass. Wait, did we pass the? We didn't Where pass did you go? Did I think you went the wrong way. I went Come the back wrong around. Way. I'm on the platform. Oh, okay, yeah. I went, I went the wrong way. Yeah. You don't want to go up to the top of the tree. you were following me. <laughs> Until, I don't know, maybe you could go up to the top before you talk to the owl. Maybe. Here. So here's your platform. And you want to talk to this little, it's not an owl, he's a little gnome. gnome. So let's see what he says. The spirit of the great tree is listening. What is it that you wish, Vanguard? I want to claim this tree and move my tree encampment oh, here. So cool. Which, the wording for that might need to be different because you don't have a tree encampment yet. That's true. <laughs> Okay, so he tells us, you do not have a tree encampment yet. <laughs> to claim your first tree and make your encampment, you must climb to the top of a great tree and speak to me there. Okay, Ooh, little gnome fella. I'm so excited. All right, so now we make our way up. So I don't, I'm not sure if, it, like, if you did like I did and kept going up, I wonder if you go up without talking to him first, if you can still do it. I'm thinking you probably I'm so can. curious. Surely they wouldn't make you go all the way down and say, no, you have to go talk to me down at the bottom first. <laughs> <laughs> that would be so cruel. Surely they wouldn't do that. So you just kind of make your way up, guys. It's just the coolest thing ever. It's kind of hard with two people. Let's, let's see here. Yeah. Oh, yeah, you did it. 
Yeah, you just, you, they kind of fixed it so it's kind of like you have glue on your hand or something because it's better than most jumping puzzles. And then, oh man, it's starting. Oh, I don't like it. Okay, I'm not going to say it. Um, Alright, so if you can't see for sure the way to go. Oh, wow, Steffi, wait a minute. We didn't do what we said. We did not. We got too excited. Let's go down and we're going to build our little uh, outpost and go to sleep. Can we build it right here? I Sometimes you can, hopefully. That would be the best. That would be awesome. <laughs> It'll say, yes, we can. Good. Oh, yay! I'm so glad I remembered. If you get too far up. Okay, we don't need an outpost. We just need two foundations and some walls so we have enough room for two beds. I will start building. If you want to put down our beds. Sure. I'm gonna, first thing you do probably is put down your torches. Because then you can see what you're doing. That's another tip. <laughs> and I'm not going to worry about the walls facing a certain way or anything. And you don't need door frames. You just need a roof over the beds. You can't sleep in the beds unless you have a roof over them. Okay, there we go. Oh, wait. Okay, yeah, I'm activating okay. this All one. Right, let's do this. We'll sleep through the night. Put away my hammer so I don't sleep with my hammer. All right, and we, it also, it also, I didn't, I didn't see how I slept, but I guess I did. So, now we're hungry again. The thing we cooked up. All right, so, let's just leave this here. We can always remove it another yeah, time. Yeah, this is perfect. If we, if we die, not when we die. We're not going to die. But you know how it is if you... Whoa. I'm going to let you go first. Okay. <laughs> you know how it is if you prepare and plan that bad things don't happen. Right? Now, sure. now the only my only fear here would be if we have another one of those bad storms. Because then we'd have to run back or build another one. And once you get to a certain spot up above it won't let you build on the tree and we'll say you're unable to build on the tree so we did good that was perfect steffi nice oh oh gosh okay this one's a little bit farther to jump jump you just keep going and people with that are afraid of heights like me I don't look down. I can't. I can't look down. My hands start sweating. My hands are already sweating. Yeah. And you just keep... my. I feel it. Oh my gosh. My whole body. Don't look down. So if you can't find a mushroom that goes up, you might have to go down a little bit and then back up again. And if you don't, ah! oh, oh man, don't do that. <laughs> You just keep looking, go back and forth until you find a mushroom that goes, that takes you on up. Because it will eventually. See, like, hmm, okay, let's see here. I'm thinking. We'll go back, go around. I'm thinking behind this you. way. Maybe. Nope. No? You don't think so? Yeah? Yeah, this is good. Uh, no, it goes down. You're right. So, if you can't go one way, go the other way. Cool. Oh my gosh. And of course, as you get higher, you start thinking, I did it, I did it. But then, you get too confident. Okay, so, yeah, you went up around. I hear the wind blowing. It's so realistic. And you just keep... Huh. I want to look. I want to look at the beautiful scenery, but it makes my stomach... Uh. Yep. You go first. Oh. <gasps> See the balloon. Oops. 
Be careful of that last jump, though. In fact, what I do on that last jump, yeah, I go up here. Nice. Oh, my we gosh. We did, did it, Steffi. Look at this cool balloon. Oh, it's awesome. This is the most wonderful thing ever. Okay, so let's talk to our fellas so we can claim the tree. They need to name them. The spirit of the great tree is listening. What is it that you wish, Vanguard? I want to claim this tree. Okay, we have the tree. All right, so now when you want to go down, we don't have to do that, Steffi. We don't have to do that every time. Okay, so really quickly. So, Zadir claimed the tree. I cannot claim it now. Oh, that's good to know. This, is, this tree is owned by her, so I just had to leave. Now, I can still live with her, and I can we can still build on this tree, but just right, so but you now know. Now, what you need to do, Steffi, is go on your private server yes and build and on a tree. claim you a tree and then when you come see me your tree will be built and you can go get that a tree is so cool it is so look at this ginormous area you can build oh. a big old mansion you can have a workshop where well, that's what we're gonna do we're and gonna it's have a so workshop. flat yeah it's so flat you can have a workshop and they're coming out with a stable for our tames Oh, that's um, cool. In the, if you read the road map. So we can have a stable and all that. And look at that. Isn't that fun? So let's go let's go down and I'll show you how the balloon works. So you go over here and talk to the tree butler. And he's got a really pretty little blue vest on. Look at his <laughs> look at his little face. <laughs> I like his blue hat. We need a hat like that. Okay, so, and then he's got a nice fire going so you get warm. Let's talk to him. He says, hello, Vanguard. What can I do for you? So we can have him take us down to root level, or you can ask about the great tree and says, I am all ears. How can I let other small folk build on my great tree? All you, ha all you need to do is examine the known gnome effigy and make your tree public. Oh, that's what I need to do. I need to make it yeah. public, Steffi. Okay. Okay, I have another question. Can I prevent other small folk from messing with my great tree? Of course. All you need to do is make the tree private. This will prevent small folk from building on your tree. Well, there you go. That's what we need to do. Can I take my encampment from this great tree to another? You certainly can. All you need to do is find another great tree. So while we're exploring, if we happen to find one that's easy to access, easier than this one, this one was a little bit difficult to find the area to get up to the platform. So if we find one we like better, everything is going to move. That's it so cool. It says your encampment will be instantly transferred. And I say, how, how in the world can you do that? There are things in this world beyond our understanding. <laughs> Let's see. Do I have any other questions? Nope. Sorry, I need to go. All right. Let's go make it uh, public. So right now, what do you see, Steffi, if it's private? I don't see anything. I see claim this tree, but it won't let me claim it. All I can do is leave. Okay. So now I want to make the tree public. Do you see anything different? It says, this giant tree has been claimed by another small folk. You can still use the hot air lift if you want. And oh. my only option is to leave. Oh, see, I didn't even think about that. If So if I'd have made it private, you couldn't have come up in my tree at all. I don't think so. Well, I love it. I tell you what, guys, we're going to end this little video right here. This is so much fun. I think probably Steffi and I will probably work a little bit and make us a, make our house up here. We'll go down and get all of our stuff. Yes. Make us a little house. Oh, here we go. Oh, no. I wasn't going to say anything else about storms and darkness. Oh, dear. Uh, Hello, so darkness, So that's what we're going to do friend. off camera. We're going to go down and get our stuff. Now we don't have to make our way up. We can ride our balloon up. And we'll kind of make us a little bitty house here. And then next video, we're going to do some bug hunting. Yes. Oh, boy. Maybe, maybe bug taming. Yeah. Yeah, yeah we need... In order to carry all our stuff, we can tame us a little. <gasps> yes. yes. Oh, that's going to be fun. We'll tame us a ladybug and she can help bring Yeah, we'll stuff. show you how to do that. Yeah, okay. We'll start out the video with that next time. Perfect. All right. Talk to you guys later. Bye. Bye.